Hey, good morning. How y'all doing? I'm doing? I'm doing pretty good. <clears throat> my my phone shut down on me. It just did it lock down. <laughs> it was. Uh, it's got this thing, this deal on it that says update. And I I I don't like doing that. You gotta have first off, you gotta have Wi-Fi. And down here in the valley, you don't get. We don't get Wi-Fi. Uh, we don't get internet. You have to. We have to use the hotspot off my telephone to have uh, Wi-Fi. And, <clears throat> and so it, you can't you can't Wi-Fi it to upload it here to do the update. So we was in Kansas City. I, I thought you know Elizabeth has Wi-Fi. Her and, at her house. So. I hooked into that, and uh, Saturday's video went up pretty good. <laughs> it went up really good, fast. <clears throat> so, about four o'clock in the morning, I was I was up and and I went to get my phone, and it says update. I thought, well, this is about the best time I'll have in quite a while to do an update. <clears throat> you get three times to do an update, then it does it by itself. And the last time it did it, I was in the middle of doing something. I that I don't know what it was, but it updated. It just shuts down. We was in in uh, in town, Mountain Grove, <coughs> and it updates. They just took off. We sat next to a building that had uh, some. I don't know why it did it or how it did it, but it it updated. I thought you had to have Wi-Fi to do it. Yeah, I don't know. So anyway, it did. Well, when it updated, or it started to, it shuts down and does its thing and then reboots. Well, it shut down, didn't do anything. It just quit. And I didn't have any phone Friday or Sunday. And uh, so I come home, we got back here and drove all the way back down to, down to Mountain Grove and went to the store. It was a two hour wait, so I waited. We got it done. Got home here about about five thirty or six, somewhere in there. But anyway, we got her. We got it uploaded. Well, <clears throat> we started. They opened it up for me. So they said, "Now it, it'll continue to update now that you got it open, so you don't need to hook up to Wi-Fi now to do. You're good." So I said, okay, so you don't need Wi-Fi. I thought you did. So, no, I was mistaken. All right. So now we come home and this thing keeps trying to update, keeps trying to load and renew and no, do all that, and it sh keeps shutting down. So it was late, and this, fine, this phone finally <laughs> finished up and done its thing. So, <laughs> well, I don't know. We now have a telephone. <laughs> So that's why we didn't get one up yesterday. <laughs> How's that? Uh, you know, I heard a guy say, well, one time, making an excuse for something. He said, an excuse is a reason stuffed with a lie. I thought, well, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Excuses. Anyway, so I'm getting in here to... Uh, Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 17. I think we just did 16, if I remember right. My memory is, is kind of off. But <clears throat> I thought I marked that that I did it, but I'm not sure. So I'll do I'll do 17 and if I if I see that I messed up, let me see. There ought to be a way. For me to check that. I don't know how I do that without messing up the video. Well, we'll do this. It won't hurt me to do it twice anyway. <laughs> I'm sure I haven't done it. All right. Ephesians 2 7 says that in the oncoming eons, he should be displaying the transcendent riches, the transcendent riches of his grace and his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. Can you imagine transcendent riches? 
I'll have to look that transcendent word up. I bet that's an amazing word. It's one of them long words that just flow transcendent. <laughs> like transcendently transcendent grace. All right. <clears throat> so here's a reference to that out of Paul's writings. All right. And I stick with Paul because the risen Christ revealed this to, to him for us today. So we'll, we'll stick with that. Or are you despising the riches of his kindness and forbearance and patience, being ignorant that the kindness of God is leading you to repentance? The kindness leads you to repentance. That's a whole lot different than being beaten to repentance, isn't it? His kindness leads you to repentance. There's a scripture in, in Titus, it seems like, that, uh, the tit that's on the right-hand side. This, I mean, this is not the reference. Let me get this. <laughs> because that right there, the, the kindness and forbearance. And this scripture says something about the, the kindness. It's on the right-hand side here, if I can see it. I got this new one, this one right here. And it's not marked up. I've not marked it up. <clears throat> not yet. <laughs> but it'll get there. Right here in verse 4 of chapter 3, it says, Yet when the kindness and fondness for humanity of our Savior, God, made his advent not for works, which are wrought in righteousness, which we do, but according to his mercy, he saves us. Through the bath of renaissance and, the, and renewal of Holy Spirit, which he pours out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, that being justified in that one's grace, <clears throat> we may become enjoys in the allotment of the uh, in expectation of the allotment of life eonian. <laughs> wow. Man, that's... I, <clears throat> I missed this. I missed reading this for two days. Wow. Where are we at? Ephesians 1, 7. I just read that. Uh, his kindness and forbearance and patience being eager that the kindness of God is leading you to repentance? Yeah. In whom we are having the deliverance through his blood, the forgiveness of offenses, in accord with the riches of his grace, <laughs> which he lavishes on us, he lavishes on us, in all wisdom and prudence, making known to us the secret of his will, in accord with his delight, which he purposed in him. Man, this is just full of goodness. This is just full of excitement, which in other generations is not made known to the sons of humanity as it is as it now was revealed to his holy apostles and prophets in spirit. The nations are to be joint enjoyers of an allotment and a joint body and joint partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the evangel. <laughs> <clears throat> Christ to dwell in your hearts through faith that you having been rooted and grounded in love should be strong to grasp together with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height that's all encompassing to know the love of Christ which was which transcends knowledge <laughs> transcends knowledge that you may be completed for the entire complement of God the entire compliment. Now to him who is able to do super excessively above all that we are requesting or apprehending according to the power that is operating in us, to him be the glory in the ecclesia and in Christ Jesus for all generations of the eon of the eons. <clears throat> and you, and you, being dead to your offenses and sins, in which you once walked in accord with the eon of this world, in accord with the chief of the jurisdiction of the air, the spirit now operating in sons of stubbornness, among whom we also are also all behaved ourselves once in the lust of our flesh, doing the will of the flesh, and the comprehension and were <clears throat> and our nature, children of indignation, <laughs> even as the rest. Yep. 
<clears throat> now, yet God, yet God, I love that one, yet God, being rich in mercy, because of his vast love with which he loves us, we also, being dead to the offenses and the lust, vivifies us together in Christ, makes us alive, makes alive, beyond the reach of death, vivifies, <laughs> he vivifies us together in Christ, in grace are you saved, and rouses us together, and seats us together among the celestials in Christ Jesus, that in the oncoming eons, those coming to us in the oncoming eons, he should be displaying the transcendent riches of his grace. There it is in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> and, and, and whenever he may be coming to be glorified in his saints and to be marveled at in all who believe, seeing that our testimony to you was believed in that day, for which <laughs> we are always praying concerning you, that our God should be counting you worthy of the calling and should be fulfilling every delight of goodness and work of faith and power so that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him. Wow in the court of the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. Whew. Wow. Grateful am I. Man, this is powerful. Grateful am I to him who invigorates me, Christ Jesus, our Lord. For he deems me faithful, assigning me a service. Excuse me. Wow. Man. Let's see if I can get through this. Man. Whew. Grateful am I. who invigorates me, Christ Jesus our Lord. For he deems me faithful. Now assigning me a service who formerly was a calumniator and a persecutor and an outrager. Guys, this stuff <clears throat> let me hold my spot right there. I'm about done. <laughs> if I can get through it. This is some powerful Hang on a minute. I had to, I had to clean my eyes. I couldn't see. <laughs> they, they got they got water in them or something. I don't know. They made it. The, this stuff is it's powerful, overwhelming love. Okay. But I was shown mercy, seeing that I do it being ignorant in unbelief. <clears throat> Yet the grace of our Lord overwhelms with faith wow, and love. In Christ Jesus. Faithful is he. It says faithful is the same. And worthy of all welcome. That Christ Jesus came. Into the world. To save sinners. Foremost. Of who am I. But. Therefore was I shown mercy. That in me. The foremost, Jesus Christ should be displaying all his patience for a pattern of those who are about to be believing on him for life young in. Wow. <clears throat> for we also, who once who were once foolish and stubborn, deceived, 
slaves of various desires and gratifications, leading a life in malice and envy, detestable, hating one another. Yet, when the kindness and fondness for humanity of our Savior, God, made its advent, not for works which are right in righteousness, which we do, but according to his mercy. He saves us through the bath of renaissance and renewal of Holy Spirit, which oh, he pours out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Wow. That being justified in that one's grace. We may be becoming enjoyers in expectation of the allotment of life on you. Wow. Now to the king of the eons, the incorruptible, invisible only, and wise God, the honor and glory for the eons of the eons. Amen. Wow. Man, I can't add to that. I can't add to that. That's references to Ephesians 2, 7. Wow. Man, if that don't get you wood wet, that don't get you wood wet. If that don't get you wood on fire, your wood's wet. If that don't fire you up, I'll get it right. If that don't get you fired up, your wood's wet. Our God is an awesome God. Transcendently transcendent, eonian burden of glory. Yeah. Whew. It's going to be an amazing day. I think it's time we go out and see what God's got for us. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Let's go see what God's got for us. You ready? And I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. See you then.